Well, Pope Francis today urged priests to treat their flocks with mercy as he presided over a Holy Thursday Mass at the Vatican. Heading into Easter weekend, many pastors here at home are looking to rebuild in-person attendance. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard shares how one hopes this Easter will bring, bring, bring change throughout the community. Currently, these pews are empty, but with Easter Sunday coming up this weekend, crowds of people will gather here at Eastway Baptist Church, a congregation the pastor is hoping will become a part of his church family. Buildings on life support. And a lot of churches were in trouble. Churches suffering with dwindling congregations. It's an issue Michael Wolf, a revitalization pastor, has been working to change for years. The first Sunday I came here about two year, two and a half years ago, they were down to about 14 or 15 people attending. Eastway Baptist is just one church suffering from a deafening echo after losing more than 120 members. As Pastor Wolf works to bring those numbers back up, he's also teaming up with other community leaders to keep these seats filled and these doors open. The church has this opportunity in this day and age to really um, get outside of these walls and actually meet people like where they're at. Justin Bolden is with Apartment Life, a ministry effort which allows him to bring the word to the people in his community. And encourages us to meet people where they're at and take that, that message of love and hope uh, to them. Together, Wolf and Bolden are hoping to breathe new life back into this building. Same church, but with new strategies. If we can be that kind of like bridge for people, you know, to, to start engaging uh, with their faith, and the church and to help, you know, love them back to it. Traditionally is going to be a high number Sunday for us. We start with the message itself. The message itself is there is hope here. Hope, he says, is driven by faith, giving surviving members a new beginning and new members a fresh start. And we're here for everyone. Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte.